Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's Adam Repos Vox, and in this video, I wanted to show off Windows 95. Yeah. So there's a there's a new way through a new coding platform that I believe is called I lost my tab. No. No, it's called Imscripten, um, which allows you to basically emulate C and C++ coding within a web browser via HTML5. And so someone has created an emulation of Windows 95 in your web browser. So I will post the link to it in the description below, but if you just go to the link and let it load up, now keep in mind it is going very slow at the moment to initially load it as a lot of people are talking about this, so their servers are apparently getting hammered, and every once in a while it will potentially just totally crash for you. But go to the URL, let it download, and you have a fully functional, as far as we can tell, copy of Windows 95 running within your web browser based on HTML5. It's really cool. Now, a lot of people are going to look at this and say, why? Like, what's the point? But to me, it's very important to learn about older operating systems and older technology in order to fully understand new technology. I mean, we do the same thing with government and things like that. Like, that's what history classes are for. Well, sometimes history in terms of usability is very important to computer science as well. And you could potentially still build and work on apps within this emulation and do some pretty cool stuff. Now, I don't think it's really going to run games or anything like that because I tried messing with the screensavers and ended up throwing a JavaScript exception, but the DOSBox prompt would not tell me what the exception was. Uh, um, so I don't entirely know like how capable this emulation is, but it is still pretty cool to just, you know, have people get in and mess around with it and just learn what Windows was like back in 1994, 1995, 1996, you know, pre XP and Windows seven. It's pretty cool. Now I do have another project coming up on the channel at some vague point this year involving older Windows operating systems. But I did want to go ahead and make this video to show this off because it is fairly cool. So let me know what you would use a copy of Windows 95 for in the comment section down below. Be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our other recent videos. I've been kicking butt trying to get my production quality up as high as possible on the reviews and things like that. So any feedback is appreciated, of course. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.